Coming up on Look Today, well, Mother Nature plays a belated April Fool's joke, and I've got details. And few D fewer DWIs mean less funding for checkpoints. More on that coming up. And the Great Upstate Boat Show took place this past weekend in Queensbury. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. Well in tonight's program I sit down with Jill Perkins. She's a communication coordinator for the MOVE Music Festival and we're joined by Joe Bonilla. He's the events organizer and they're here to talk about the upcoming music festival in Albany. I also sit down with George Regan. He's the event director for the Fryhofer Run for Women and we're joined by Hannah Davidson. She's a competitive runner in the event. Plus we have your weather, it's snowing for the Tri-North Counties. But first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, the National Weather Service has issued a we winter weather advisory for Warren, Washington, and Saratoga counties. Now, three or four inches of snow is expected in valley areas, and check this out, four to eight inches across higher elevations. Now, we have been getting numerous reports of multiple car accidents, and the roads are treacherous. There is a possibility of more snow even into Wednesday night. However, temperatures are expected to increase later on in the week. Now, we were able to talk to Robert Schiavone. Now, he's a superintendent of Public Works of Warren County. The way I always said it, and I said it before, and I'll say it again, up in North Country, you don't take your plows off until June, and that's really, really about you. <laughs> Till June. Well, we can hope for uh, warm weather by June, maybe. Now, for a more detailed look at what all this weather means, we're going to head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. In other news, I think it's only reasonable that we talk about a boat show. The Great Upstate Boat Show took place in Queensbury this past weekend at the Adirondack Sports Complex. Over 20 boat dealerships were at the event. Well, it might not seem like it today, but many boaters are preparing for the 2016 boating season. The Great Upstate Boat Show has been running for over 10 years. Now, this event is the biggest boat show between New York and Canada. Now, this was a great opportunity to receive information from professionals about boating in the area. We spoke to Roger Finney about the boat show. Well, obviously, we've got the Great Upstate Boat Show going full tilt here. There's a big crowd in today. Yesterday, all three days have been uh, great, great traffic. Well, back to the news. Well, here's a catch-22 for you. Fewer arrests for DWIs in Warren County means less revenue to fund the officers in charge of these patrols. Well, Warren County Traffic Safety Board on Thursday decided to make a 25% cut in DWI funding. Now, this will affect the officers who work night and early morning shifts, as well as prosecutors and the STOP DWI program. Now, the budget will drop from $52,000 to $39,000, and STOP DWI funds come from the fines paid by drunken drivers. So as the number of DWI cases drop, so does the revenue for the program. Well, Warren County Sheriff Bud York said he would like to maintain the same number of patrols on the roads absorbing the cut in revenue, and we agree. In other news, the restaurant, formerly known as the Stadium Cafe in Saratoga Springs, celebrated its grand reopening as the Saratoga Stadium this past Saturday. The establishment, located on Broadway, will remain a sports bar. The new owner is Saratoga Hospita Hospitality. Now, they also own Max London's Restaurant and Mrs. London's Bakery in Saratoga. The previous owners, Mark and Christine Harmon, still own the Westside Sports Bar and Grill, which is located on Congress Street. Well, the new owners will continue with the concept of the restaurant, but plan on revamping the menu to reflect higher quality. Well, NBA All-Star John Starks was at the reopening ceremony to enjoy the new atmosphere, and we spoke to him about the event. 
I love it. I love it. Uh, you know, it's a great place to come and uh, obviously get some great food. But the atmosphere, you know, TV's all around, so you can't you can't help but uh, enjoy all the sports entertainment that they have on the TV. So uh, I'm looking forward to uh, just sitting down and really truly enjoying this Final Four. Well, up next, I sit down with Jill Perkins. She's a communicating coordinator for the Move Music Festival, and we're joined by Joe Bonilla. He's the events organizer, and we're going to talk about the upcoming music festival. You want to see this interview. Plus, I also sit down with George Regan. He's the event director of the Freihoffers Run for Women, and we're joined by Hannah Davidson, a competitive runner in the event. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea, how about join us for an interview? Give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000.